Jim, this next question sent on Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from Sable for the Hall of Fame. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to get Jim's opinion on someone hacking Teddy Long's Twitter and <laughs> blocking everyone that either follows him or that he follows. Looks like that dream Jim has of having had the record for blocking people won't happen. Well, you know, actually, I heard something about this, what, yesterday or whenever, what, day before on Twitter that uh, several people were on Twitter saying, why did Teddy Long block me? And then I checked because I believe at one point Teddy had followed me. I was thinking that and I checked and he was still following me. Even the fake Teddy Long didn't block me. Maybe he didn't want any of that, playa. Yeah, what does that say? That's weird. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know, but I was at the point that I checked, and then I started reading that it was, because it was obviously his account. It wasn't like a gimmick account, but somebody had got into it some kind of way or whatever the fuck. But I didn't, I didn't get blocked. I guess maybe even the, the 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 hacker likes me. And you've always gotten but, along with Teddy Long, right? Well, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, one of our favorite, the thing that we still, every time we see each other, one of us will launch into it, the other one will finish, whichever order it starts in, is when I did the Louisville Slugger interview segment in, what, 89, 90, thereabouts in WCW, and he was yeah. managing, you know, Ron and... and Butch. Doom. Doom. Yeah, otherwise known as Ron Simmons and Butch Reed. Anyway, we did the interview segment, and we just, I mean, he was talking about whoever they were working with, but we played around in the back and said, oh, we'll do this and that and the other thing, and then we closed off with the fucking Don Cornelius parting. Because remember, Teddy, well, I don't know, were you here when Teddy was on the show? It was several years ago. That may have been before me and if it wasn't i feel bad that i forgot if i was there when teddy long well, was on the show but it may have been but before it, me we talked for a long time about he worked for james brown uh it, back in the day and he did on the going on the road with him and he did radio and he's got the voice and the patter so we did the fucking don cornelius parting together and you can bet until next week you can bet your last money it's all going to be a stone gas honey i'm jim Cornette for teddy long wishing you love peace and so <laughs> And everybody in the back was like, what the fuck is going on with them? You could tell and Don it, Cornelius owned everything because he had the least amount of charisma for a soul show host ever. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was so laid back, though. And so just cool. stiff. You know, it's like Ugh. what you're saying that the uh, studio's on fire and my wife has been kidnapped <laughs> by uh, terrorists. Uh, well, that's that's cool. Here's heat that's wave. Cool. Yeah. Here's heat wave now. <laughs> Always and forever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, but back to Teddy being Teddy hacking. Uh, Teddy wouldn't do that. He wouldn't block all those people willy nilly like that. And I knew something had to be wrong. And then I read the thing where, he, you know, and I guess uh, I don't know how you resolve that. Do you have to figure out who's blocked and go and unblock them? Or how does that get taken care of? I'm sure Teddy wants to make things right. He wants to set up a tag team match with all the people that got blocked against this guy. Did he gain control back of his original account, or is he on a second account issuing this statement? I don't know, because I read the statement on some other form of the internet. Because this one wrestling star, I won't expose who it is, but this one wrestling star who in the last year lost access to their Twitter account because their wife got it and wouldn't give it up because they were afraid the wrestler would say things that would hurt themselves. <laughs> it kind of caused a big internal fight. <laughs> so, I mean, it happens, the idea that someone gets your site and won't give it back if you give them that access. Well, I don't know whether this is somebody he gave access to to try to help with his social media and went crazy or whether it's just some, some rogue Code Academy graduate. You never know about these things. That's why everybody should go to school and, and also express VPN. <laughs> Make sure you... Name a few more sponsors while you're at well, it. I'm just, well, <laughs> I'm sure Teddy would appreciate us getting a, a paid off of his clip. Um, yeah, you always got to disguise and cover your tracks there. Seeing how much publicity this got, would you consider a campaign like this? What? To, I, I'm already blocking everybody. I don't need to be hacked to do that. Block everyone, even your friends. Block me. 
well, fuck you. I'm not going to block you. If I block you, I can't retweet our clips. Uh, and then it would it would it would cost me money to that to not tell people about all of the various things we're putting up on the YouTube and the internets and everything. That's the price you'll have to pay. I need you. All right. Well, maybe there's a transition here somewhere. <sighs> maybe Teddy Long doesn't want some freak to have their Twitter account and block everyone minus Jim Cornette in the entire world. <laughs> Maybe Teddy Long wants to gain back control of his social media, of his virtual being. Maybe Teddy Long needs to pursue legal options, and I know exactly who he can call. Well, you're talking about taking him to court now, aren't you? In that case, if you want to gain control of your legal being, I know the exact human being that can do that for you. Boy, Brian, we talked about it for the last several weeks. I is maybe in a couple of months now that we've been talking about it. He is Stephen P. New, of course, the major domo of newlawoffice.com, 888-692-8084. He's pressing cases, filing cases, processing, uh, what's the word I'm searching for? Prosecuting cases, whatever the whatever he's doing to these cases. And what was it at last count? Ten different states? He's all over the place now. He's branched out. He got that plane, and it's a lot nicer than that plane Crockett got in 87, too, I'll tell you that. Or was it 86? Anyway, Stephen P. New flying back and forth across the country, cases in a variety of states. Do you realize, Brian Last, that 75 pharmaceutical companies are now being sued in court on behalf of the babies of West Virginia? Courtesy of Stephen P. New. He's holding up for the babies. They were born addicted to opioids because these companies were pushing opioids, said opioids, on pregnant women. Like, that's a good idea with all that we know now. And they knew before they, that we knew, that they knew, we knew, they knew, we knew. You know? So anyway, besides that, did I tell you what happened a couple of weeks ago? They declared a state of emergency in West Virginia because newlawoffice.com, 888-692-8084, has filed a lawsuit on behalf of the inmates of the jails in West Virginia for the horrible and inhumane treatment. No toilets, no running water. What's this country coming to these days? You can't even be safe in jail. It's fucking ridiculous. And they declared a state of emergency. The governor did. Oh, Governor Justice. He's fixing to find out, Justice, what justice means. Governor they Stephen filed. P. New! That's right. Governor Stephen P. New is what we're going to be talking about in five or ten years. I don't know whether Stephen could afford to take the cut and pay or not to become the governor. And they're, they're, they're calling the government. right now. Uh-oh. But nevertheless, I shall continue on. <laughs> so they filed a lawsuit. And you ought to see the amount of, of, uh, of, of plaintiffs and also the amount of people that are being sued. What's the other side of plaintiff? The complainant? No, the, the complainee or the complainer. The point of this suit, he's suing a lot of fucking people there at the jail, and they declared the state of emergency because they're woefully, woefully understaffed and, uh, and have not kept up the repairs nor anything to be civil living conditions in these jails. But I'll tell you what, folks, and this is a big deal now, you do not have to go to jail to retain Stephen P. News services. I know it's not. a small price to pay. If you had to, to get a lawyer like this, go hit an old woman over the head with a rock on the street, simple assault and battery, you'll get 90 days. But nevertheless, you don't even have to do that. Don't do that. Well, you don't. You don't. Don't have to. do that. Not. Not. You don't have to. You shouldn't even consider doing that. Why? Well, because you... there's there's no call to. Because Stephen P. New is available to be retained by anybody, whether you've hit an old lady over the head with a rock on the street or not. He may not want so to take that case. Easy about that. No, he may not huh? want to take that case. It sounds like it's open and shut. 
Well, it sounds like it's open and shut until you find out that that old woman had no business being on that street at that time of day because she had wandered off from a state home. <laughs> so you hit her with a and, rock? And people were looking for her. There was an APB out for this woman, 88-year-old Myrtle Reed from Orangeburg, South Carolina. She wandered away from a state home, and, and they, were, they were looking for her. And then here came Claude Patterson with a rock and was able to slow her down to where they could get her back in the fucking van and take her back to the home. How old was Claude? Claude was 56 at this time. And he hit an 88-year-old woman with a rock? Well, he didn't have a stick. He had to grab the closest <laughs> thing. Anyway, if you want to retain Stephen P. New because you've been wrongfully terminated or you've been harmed or damaged in some kind of way through somebody else's negligence, or let's say one of these elderly, confused senior citizens that wanders away from state homes has walked out in front of your car, you've hit them, and it's caused some damage to your front bumper, and you want recompense in some way, all these and many other cases able to be handled by our friend Stephen P. New at newlawoffice.com, 888-692-8084. And if you've just walked away from a state home and you see somebody coming at you with a rock, turn and stagger the other way.